Would you like to max out your constellation's power by having max power to guns, shields and thrusters while also optimizing for stealth to keep your signature super low? Well in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how I optimize my constellation and how I build it to give it max power and max stealth capabilities so you can't be seen as easily. To build this constellation I'm going to show you exactly where to buy each component. First off we here at Orison at the moment. This is on Crusader. And I'm going to head over to Cousin Crows. I'm going to show you how to do this as well. Since some people don't know. Just quickly just go to the spaceport here on Orison. We were at the spaceport. Now we just want to head this way. Until we find a blue elevator. The blue elevator you can find here on the left. Just quickly run there. Here's the blue elevators. We quickly want to go to the shuttle station. Once we're here. Just head inside and go to the shuttle station. We're at the shuttle station. We want to go to the left here to go to Cousin Crows. Just wait for your shuttle here and get on it. Shuttle has arrived. Now we can quickly go up here. And then we can look for Cousin Crows. Not too difficult to find once you know where it is and what to read. But I'll show you anyway. Just follow this blue line here. And eventually we should see some stairs here. We can just go down here. You'll even see some signage here but it's difficult to read sometimes. And here is Cousin Crows. We can go inside and we'll basically buy most of our components like our power plants, our coolers and so forth. The only thing that we can't buy here is our shields. But I'll show you where to buy that as well. And I'll definitely show you how to customize your ship after this. But first let's get our basic components. So for our power plant we want to buy the Eclipse. We want to buy two of these. So just get two, two Eclipses. For our coolers, we want to get snow blind, so get two snow blinds. And for our quantum drive, we want to get a spectral. I have no idea how to say this, but it's the red one. You can just spell it out and then you should be able to buy this one as well. Now that we have everything, let's quickly customize our ship before we leave Horizon. So just F1, vehicles, choose your constellation. Then we're going to go over to systems here. For the coolers, snow blinds, just equip your two snow blinds here. And then for power plant, we're going to go with Eclipse and Eclipse. And for quantum drive, we're going to go with the Spectral or whatever it's called. And then for shields, we're going to go buy this at Grim Hex. Quickly save and make your way back to your hangar so that we can go over to Grim Hex. Go to Grim Hex, just press F2. And then in the search bar, just type in Grim. And you should be able to see it pop up. And we can just route there. Now let's quickly go to Dumpers Depot on Grim Hex and see where we can buy the shield. Okay, we have arrived at Grim Hex. Let me quickly land and then we'll go to Dumpers Depot to go buy a shield. And then I'll show you how to optimize your power as well so that you can have max power to shields, engines and weapons. To find Dumpers Depot, we're just going to go down the elevator here. Once down the elevator, we can run up these stairs. And you should see another set of stairs right here. Just go up it. And then once you reach the top here. You can make a right. And you'll see there's a little arrow right there. Where it is located. We can just go in here. And then we should see the terminal. Where we can buy the shield. Now this shield is the best shield HP. And the best regeneration. It's a hefty shield. It's not a stealth shield. So it's really good. This para patch shield. It's basically the best in-game shield that you can get at the moment. It's got the most HP and the most regeneration. This is why we are getting it. Since we already optimized all the other components for stealth, I do not like to slack on my shields. I usually like to have a beefy shield. Just because the ship is so big, I do not go with stealth shields. Now let me quickly equip everything. F1 again, vehicles. Then we select our constellation here. Systems shields and then we can equip our shields hit save and then there is one more thing that you need to do you need to go over to weapons since this is a solo build right we need to go all the way down to the turret and here you can see two turret slots we want to unequip our turret slots so that we don't get more signature and more power usage from them this will optimize our power for us so that we can have enough power to power all our systems. For weapons, I'm just going to keep with the default weapons. I really enjoy the repeaters at the moment. And at the moment, the base repeaters are bugged in this patch. So I'm just waiting for them to fix it before I equip them. 
It's basically attritions. But at the moment they're back so we can't use them but then we go show you how to optimize for power here's our ship i'm quickly going to get into the cockpit and then i'll show you exactly how to set up your power okay we're in our ship now just make sure you turn on your engines so that we have all our power available to us sometimes you need to cycle your power first so just hold b and then hold b again so that we are in sem mode so now that everything is optimized, I'm just going to use this terminal to show you since it's a little bit more visible. Let me just get to my power configuration. Here we go. Now there's a couple of things that we want to turn off. I'm just holding in F to basically scroll. So there's a couple of things we want to turn off before we get going. We want to turn off any tractor beams. If you have one on your constellation, turn it off. You want to turn off life support and you want to turn off one cooler now we should have seven here now we can fill out our guns you can see there's two gun slots that's grayed out these are your turrets that we removed we can't power them since they're not on our ship so this will optimize our power a little bit more then we can put more in shields and we can also optimize our thrusters you can see we've got full weapons full thrusters and full shields plus we've got one more power to spare but usually i just leave it since sometimes i can use it here and there you'll see that our stealth here is 9.8k i know the cross section is pretty big but if you face ships with your nose your signature goes down to i think 4900 so this is your biggest signature if you're facing ships so about 10k out they can't see you now that you know how stealth works let's quickly go do a really big bounty an ERT bounty to see how she performs against bigger ships managed to find an ERT bounty around Yela in the asteroid belt let's quickly head over and see what we can get there seems like we've got the redeemer and so far we've got the constellation as well and we also got a starfarer so pretty big ships let's quickly see if we can take them out i think i'm gonna go for the redeemer first since i think that thing probably has the most guns and turrets so let's see if we can take it out quickly sometimes when it's super laggy i like to go into gimbal mode but for now i think we're pretty decent until it changes so let's see if we can take out the redeemer Okay, the teamer is down. Let's quickly take a look at our next target here. Which is, I think we're going to go for the constellation. Just the constellation. It's getting nice and close. They're pretty big, so I'm not sticking too close to them. Okay, we've got the constellation. These freaking star feathers. These star feathers constantly shooting missiles at me. So I'm quickly going to take them out. Star feather went super quickly. And I think there's one more left. Sometimes there's like invulnerable spot on the star feather, I believe. If you shoot like close to the bottom here. So I just shoot at the nose, I guess. I try to get above it. It's probably the better way to do it. And then it shouldn't be invulnerable. And there the last star feather is down. But hope you enjoyed this loadout video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see another loadout video for the Corsair, then you can watch this video right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.